setting an asymmetrical spinnaker on a catamaran. We're going to show you how we deploy it and how we douse and recover the sail. Okay, so what I've done is I've made myself a little piece of gear. I took a snap shackle and I attached it to the end of a piece of line. I have a snatch block and then I've got a figure eight at the end of the line just so I don't lose my snatch block. So what we do, this is for the tack of the spinnaker so that we can tack it, but I do it in such a way that I have a quick release in, the, in, in case of an emergency. So um, if you come over here and have a look at this pad eye on the bow, there's the pad eye. So we're going to take our, snap, our, our, our snatch block and we're going to attach it. So, put the snatch block on here. Right, so now we have our snatch block attached. We have our snap shackle on this side, which is going to attach to the tack of the spinnaker. Just going to put it here for the time being. And then I take this line and I run it back to a cleat over there. Right, so now we have it attached to a cleat. So, when we're ready to deploy our spinnaker, what I'm going to do is I'm going to attach this line to the tack. And that will basically hold our spinnaker. Now, in the event that we really need to, to get rid of our spinnaker, instead of trying to pull these lines and everything, all I do is I come back here, undo this knot, and I unclip this, and I let it go. And when I let it go, what's going to happen is that that's going to fly out of the thing and the tack of our spinnaker will come loose and it'll go around and fly behind our mane and we can retrieve our mane. Okay, okay so what we have here now is I've got the, 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 the tack, I've got my snap shackle, I've got the, um, the snatch block, go closer, show the snatch block. Okay, and then it runs back to that cleat. Uh, so I can easily let this go if I need to let it go in the case of an emergency. So this is the tack, it's ready to go. And then we hoisted it up on the... We've hoisted, the we've hoisted it up. And we have our deployment ready to go. Here is our bridle that'll, that'll pull, this, that'll pull the, the sock up. And then through over here, goes back to a winch at the back of the boat. To deploy the asymmetrical, what we now do is we use the control lines and we pull the, soft, the snuffer, the sock, up um, and the asymmetric will now fill with wind as the sock slides up the sail. Uh, now we need to trim it and what we do is we have the sheet going to the back of the boat, uh, down and then round it through a block on the stern and onto a trimming wedge. And here we are busy trimming it, we're now happy with the set and you can see the boat starting to accelerate if you have a look at the wake that the boat's starting to leave. So this is, th these are the control lines. I'm just going to take them and secure them here so I don't lose them when I need to snuff it. And as you can see now, our, our, our tack line is on the cleats, working through the snatch block onto the tack of the sail. I shorten it a little bit to get it around so that it catches some wind that's, that's coming from our stern. And uh, we look pretty good. So this is what it looks like now that we've deployed the asymmetrical. Uh, winds are extremely light, but we have it hoisted pretty high and we're busy trimming it with the sheet which you see goes outside of everything to a block on the stern of the boat and, to the, and then to the trimming winch. Okay, so now to douse the asymmetrical, what we're going to do is we're going to ease on the sheet so that the spinnaker collapses and then we're going to pull down on the control lines which pulls the sock down over the, over the asymmetrical spinnaker and douses it. We pull it all the way to the bottom uh, and recover it. 
and then once we have it recovered we will then release the uh, halyard and drop the spinnaker onto the net where we will pack it and put it back in its bag. There we go. There we go.